Hey, my beautiful souls, I want you to remember today that you are the pride. Know your worth, embrace your uniqueness, and hold your head up high. There's no one else like you. Your value does not decrease on someone's inability to see your worth. Own your greatness and shine bright, and shine bright like a diamond, and embody that. Radiate that. Let your aura be that. You are the prize. Never settle for less. Never let no one lower your worth. A lot of women lose their self and men lose their self after being in a relationship because someone made them feel less than. And I want you to know today that you are not less than. You are beautiful and you are uniquely you. Just because someone hurt you does not mean that you have to jump right into another relationship. Just because someone hurt you does not mean that you have to hop into a rebound relationship to prove to someone that you don't want them or to prove to the world that you don't want that person. Stop being a people pleaser and please yourself because seeking revenge or trying to make someone else jealous, it only affects you. It's not affecting the other person. You may think it. You may feel like, oh, they're going to be jealous because I have someone new. No, it's not. It's just going to make you look worse. It's going to make you look like, oh, that's a rebound relationship. And people are going to just be talking about you like, oh, she didn't take time to heal or he didn't take time to heal. Love yourself. Know that you are the prize. Don't devalue yourself. Don't lower your standards. Don't lower your worth. Because like I said, it's not hurting them. It's hurting you. That's another body on you. Take the time to heal after any relationship. And I'm not just speaking on after relationships. I'm talking about your whole life. You should just know that you are the prize. And when you know you are the prize, and when you have self-love and self-worth and true self-love, not that self-love that you think, oh, I'm going to dress sexy tomorrow, and I'm going to make myself look pretty, and I'm going to make myself look good, and all this and that. No, that's not what true self-love is. Let me explain to you what self-love is. Self-love is the practice of caring for yourself and valuing oneself. It involves treating oneself with kindness and compassion and acceptance and nurturing one's well-being and one's happiness. Self-love also involves setting boundaries, practicing self-care. And yes, self-care does mean looking good, feeling good, but just embodying beautiful energy and a beautiful aura, not just getting up and dressing sexy like I said you can look good and be elegant and be classy and be what they say very demure you have to embody self-love sometimes people think that just dressing sexy makes I know it makes you feel good it makes you feel sexy but then when others see you they might bring you down again they might lower your self-worth again because they're going to look at you and they're going to just see that all you care about is looking sexy or they're going to look at you as an object like a sex object okay or they're going to look at you as being promiscuous okay it's nothing wrong with dressing every now and then like a little sexy but add some class to it also self-care is prioritizing one's own needs and desires embracing self-love can lead to self high self-esteem it can lead to confidence and overall life satisfaction it's essential it is an essential <laughs> i can't talk today it is an essential aspect of personal growth and well-being okay so i want y'all to embody self-love i want you to feel self-love and know self-love and know self-worth okay know your worth Know that you are the prize. Walk like you're the prize, okay? I always walk like I'm a lion, okay? I walk like the lioness that I am and the goddess that I am, okay? So know that you are a goddess. Know that you are worthy of love. Know that you are worthy of people respecting you and not um, crossing any boundaries with you and not playing with you. Once you value yourself and once you know that you are the prize and once you embody self-worth and self-love, everything will align for you okay and until you have that you will continue to attract the same type of person okay the same type and you're wondering why you keep attracting the same person or the this person keep treating you like like less than is because you have not mastered self-love and mastered self-worth when you know you're worth you won't even allow people to disrespect you or even to play with you okay 
And when someone knows that you love yourself and that you have self-worth, they will respect you more. And I always say, sorry, and as I always say, um, a man knows who he can play with and who he can't play with. Like a man will know that they can play with you the first time they meet you. But a man will also know, oh, I can't play with her. Yeah, she's not the one. Because he knows that you have that self-worth and that self-love. Like, because you embody it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes when people see you, and, and don't take this negatively, women. But when people see you dressing very provocative or promiscuous, that's how they're going to treat you. And they're going to treat you just like you're an object, okay? Um, yeah, so. There's a way to dress sexy and look good and feel good and be beautiful, but also be elegant and modest at the same time. So anyway, ladies, I just want you to know that you're the prize and know that you're worth being loved and know that you are a goddess and know that everything that you want is going to come to you. OK, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. OK, and stop going out there and searching and chasing and running after men and vice versa, men. This is for men, too. OK, take it how it resonates for you. OK, don't go out there chasing anyone. What is meant for you is meant for you. But women, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. You don't go out looking and chasing and looking for no man. You don't go out and be like, oh, I'm going to look good. I'm going to look sexy today and I'm on the prowl. No. And I'm outside. No. The right person will come at the right time when it's divine time. All right. So if you feel like you have low self-esteem, you don't have self-worth and self-love, just remember there's books out there that can help. There's um, any of resources online. And I just want you to know that most people, when I talk to people and they be like, yeah, I'm about to work on my self-love because I do like a lot of spiritual healing, um, uh, counseling with women or life coaching with women the first thing they say to me when they tell me like i'm just saying i love i love every woman that comes to me and they seek help right because they can take constructive criticism like most of the people that come to me love to hear what i have to say and when they usually come to me and they just recently broke up with someone they like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna put on something sexy i'm gonna look good i'm gonna get him jealous and this and that and i'm like girl you know you don't even have to do all that you know what I'm saying? You could still be sexy covered up as well. And that's just not the only thing about self-love, okay? Self-love is also doing shadow work, which people don't understand. Self-love also involves having a positive relationship with yourself, accepting your strength and your weaknesses, Pri prioritizing your well-being. Shadow work, on the other hand, involves exploring and embracing the parts of yourself that you may have repressed or denied which this is a big part of self-love that you can work on is your shadow side you can engage in practices such as journaling therapy meditation mindfulness and self-care activity it's important to always be gentle with yourself and approach these processes with compassion and curiosity and if you ever need any specific questions or need guidance on how to start with your self-love journey or doing shadow work free, feel free to ask. I even have a lot of books over there on um, shadow work and journaling and stuff like that. But love, peace, and light.